It's Van Berman here. Welcome to my first impressions video for Be The Rocket, which is developed by Newton Games. I was given or sent an email um, by the creator to have a look at the game, maybe make a video on it. It's not paid or anything like that. The demo is freely available to anyone that wants to download it. I will put a link to his um, website in the description. Obviously, just a full disclosure in case any of you are bothered by it. No one ever seems to be, but at least if I put it in, anyone future reference will know. There's nothing to do with that. So, I can see that like this trail's been cut off a bit here. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> but no, um, the way that it's been described is it's based on the Nintendo game Pilot Wings. I had to look it up because. Quite frankly, I'd never seen it before. And yes, this is very similar. So, congratulations. Um, which is a lot better than how I was originally going to describe the game, which I'll probably say a bit later on. Um, but yes, my um, own description was going to be a lot less flattering. So, there is currently a Kickstarter campaign for this, for Be The Rocket. It's currently only at very minorly funded. It's only £64 out of 10829 That's due to it being converted from dollars. But there's only 15 days to go, only 7 backers. It doesn't look like it is going to get funded, unfortunately. But what I see here, and if people can show more of an interest in it, and if people like it, then I'm sure you know it will be developed more so. So judging on all the information I have so far, the guy seems to put a lot of work into it, like working out the correct physics for each different type of thing. Anyway, you, pro you guys probably aren't even that interested, so we're just going to like play some bits. Now, I've already had a go on it before, so I vaguely know what I'm doing. I'm not very good. It does take um, some skill because, you know, you are dealing with physics and such, with thrusters and all that sort of uh, and nuance nuances. But I should be able to do these these bits fairly easy enough, I suppose. Uh, so you just, you've got to just try and like monitor your thrust, especially with this rocket bucket. So, uh, oops, I didn't do very well there. <laughs> that was horrendous. Uh, we'll have another go at that one. So, it did the, all the controls work perfectly fine, as you would hope they do. Uh, you've obviously got your little heads-up display, which is a little bit different to Pilot Wings. I had a look at that. I mean, obviously, Pilot Wings itself, you know, is, was a lot more polished, um, as you would expect. You know, this is a uh, one-man team, as far as I'm aware, creation. Oh, that's quite good. 94%. <laughs> the plane's actually very difficult. So, the two I've had a go with, the rocket bucket and the plane, do work totally different uh, to each other, as you would expect. Um, hopefully, you know, there'll be, like, some proper graphics at the side for, like, the uh, the altitude, you know, altitude meters for the plane and the speed and all that sort of stuff. Uh, did I miss that? Oh, I bet I did, didn't I? How do I redo? There is a button to... Oh, I could just crash it, actually. Minus, <laughs> minus 708%. Okay, we'll have another go at that one. And then we'll have a go at the plane. I'll probably have a go on the second one with the plane. Because, um, yeah. The third one, I only just failed because, well, we'll probably have a go on that one, actually. So you'll probably see. So the way, so while I was playing this and getting more used to the physics, um, the comparison I drew to it was the Superman 64 game. Which, yeah, okay, you know... It, <laughs> You know, you're flying through hoops and whatever, but like, yeah, I can't imagine any game developers, you know, being particularly happy with that analysis. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I actually looked up Pilot Wings before I gave my final impression on that one, or final verdict on that. So, yeah, probably the least flattering thing ever. But it is basically to do with flying through rings, so, you know, that part is correct. Um, we're going to have a go now with the with the plane. So the great thing about the plane is, you take it off and you land it. But the plane is mm, interesting to uh, fly, to say the least. So, yeah, on this one we've got to fly through the hoops and then successfully land the plane. So it's all about... Um, the plane seems to be more about fine movements. Just sort of, you're not really so much balancing the the throttle as much, especially not for this bit anyway. Um, you're more sort of trying to keep your movements in line, making sure you're directing your plane the right way. So in this case, down towards the landing strip. So we're going to want to pull back on the throttle. Oh my goodness me, I've... No, nope, 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 nope. Right, let's see if I can actually land it. I probably can't. Ooh, oh, I'll take it off again. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I do this really bad with the plane. I really wasn't paying attention there. As you can... Oh, I'm just going to crash it from that one. <laughs> um, I want to 
The problem is I need to complete the plane so I can have a go with the hang glider. And I need to complete that to have a go with the rocket, so... I'm pretty much useless at this. I'm not MLG by any stretch, but it's very interesting. Now, the way in which I always, you know, talk about early access games or Kickstarter games or whatever it happens to be. So I've played quite a few of them. Um, one of the key examples, I suppose, currently is They Are Billions. Personally, I think that's an absolutely incredible game. Um, but the way I always look at it is, is the game fun in its current state? Like, right now, is this game fun? Yeah, I think it's real. I think it's great. It's good to have a little bit of a, you know, just to kick around on, mess around with the physics, all that sort of stuff. Sniff, sniff, I am so happy. I got 100%! Oh, God. Now we're going to absolutely mess it up by not doing really well with this one. So, um, yeah, we're gonna, what we have to do is we have to take off on the runway, go all the way around the island, in and out of some part. I'm gonna, definitely going to die quite a few times. This will probably um, be the best one, that, the last one that you're going to see, because oh, I've got no chance of doing it. I managed to get all the rings last time, though, so I was quite happy with that one. But other than that, um, yeah, it didn't go too well. So um, there's obviously a lot of work to be done, but I like what has been done so far with the game. Anyway, yeah, the point I was going to make is, you know, in terms of an early access game or a game that is early on or earlier on in development, I always feel as though if the game is fun in its current state, you're happy to buy it in that state and you're happy that that's the state it could end up in, then no issues. Like I've played Stomping Land, They Are Billions, I thoroughly enjoyed them for what they were, so I never really had too much of an issue with how they turned out. And I saw a similar thing like this, though I think if it released a little bit more polished than this, maybe early access or, or what have you, I don't think I'd be too disappointed with that. But that's just me. I know nothing, so... Oh, crap. Oh, I hit it. But now I'm going to have to... Oh, no, this happened to me last time. Basically, I had to like really slow down, manoeuvre myself back around. The plane is just so difficult to handle. Or maybe I'm just really bad. It's going to be a bit of both. Oh, no. So now I've got to go back a bit. Try and turn around. Yes, I don't want to stall. If I can at all help it. And then I've got to try and hit the, hit the ring on the way down. Ah. Oh. No. Yeah, um, it seems to be the the rotation that messes me up. I'm just, like I say, I'm just not very good with it. It is a bit finicky. I feel like it's one of those things, though, as soon as you get the, the basic handle of it, as soon as you sort of understand where you're going with it, you probably do a decent job. But me? Nah. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. I'm not sure if you probably might actually be able to go the other way. In fact, maybe you are supposed to go the other way. Uh, I don't think it penalises you, you know, regardless. Maybe that bit's easier to take from the other direction. Who knows? Too many fine adjustments, I think that's the issue. I realise it tried to give you a bit of a flight path, to which I'm totally ignoring. But it is what it is, I suppose. I feel like you just need to slow down when you're going down the... Um, take in these bits, just to give you enough. See, look, I always do that. And then I approach it from a totally the wrong angle. Now, then I panic, and then everything goes to pop. And then you're worried about hitting a tree or a house or whatever. Actually, this isn't going too badly now, he says. <laughs> he says as he's about to head to his impending doom. So yeah, I'm not really too much of a fan of... Oh no! I can't even pretend I got it, because I won't get any score if I don't get all the rings. I'm sure I got 30%. Right, well let's see if I can bank them round and go and get that ring. I can't believe I missed it. It's totally on me, that one, unfortunately. I ain't going to rush it, though. Because I need to make sure we get a wide enough berth. Oh, that cloud's doing some weird stuff to that rock. Hmm. Right. 
I'm not going full speed. I want to make sure that I can complete this level after failing it. Oh, many times. Oh, my God. oh come on. All right. I'm going to start running out of fuel soon if I'm not careful. Ah, there we go. We'll hit it from this side. Or try to, anyway. Yes. Got it. Right, let's spin back around. <laughs> I guarantee this will be one of the least eloquent ones you'll have seen. Now, somehow I've got to end up landing this as well. But there's lots of pressure on you. You know, your fuel... you got an elapsed time, but that doesn't really make too much difference. You'll eventually run out of fuel, regardless. So... Yeah, last time I got all the rings, I failed to land it. I came in too hot, which is why I sort of feel as though you meant to come from the other way. Could be wrong, obviously, but that doesn't usually happen. Oh, no, don't stalk. Don't stalk. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I'm going to have to put some power on. No! Okay, last attempt. This video will go on forever. Uh, I'm going to try going down as opposed to up to start off with. This time, see if that makes a difference. I don't know if you meant to or not. If it makes it easier, it probably makes the landing easier coming from there that way. Are especially, I think the palm trees are excruciatingly small. Um, but the attention to detail and the sort of um, sizing of everything is, is a big part if you ever read the Kickstarter page and flip through some of the images. Uh, the guy is definitely taking the game quite seriously. So it's not going to be the most in depth game. Well, in terms of like, I can't imagine how it can be massively story based, I suppose, but I'm sure there'll be a thing. Oh, how did I manage to do that? See, this is what happens. I get, I just you make fine adjustments and I just ended up doing too much. All right, can I get out of this? I need to bank around. Worst pilot ever. <laughs> Dear. I'm going to try slowing it down a little bit. Turning circle going. Pretend like I know what I'm about. Yeah, you see, I've done it again. Now I'm just doing uh, corkscrews for fun. Can I look round? No. You need like a reverse, uh, you know, so you can click it in and see what's behind you. That's what I'm lacking right now. best dead for the next one, but we'll have a go. Come on, hit it! No! Oh. Run out of fuel again. I do apologise for being so useless, I can't help it. <laughs> well, that was actually alright, that one. Another corkscrew. See if we can spin this baby around. I was never very good at, um, even though I always used to like the... Oh, what were the... Horizon? No, Ace Horizon? Oh, I can't remember what they were called now. The fire pilot games. I used to love the idea of them. When I first had a PS3, I thought, those games look amazing. I had a demo for one. And uh, naturally, didn't end up buying the full game. <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, but I've still got... The annoying thing is, I've still got to do another um, plane mission in order to be able to unlock the, the glider. So, right. Now, this should be a bit easier to land now. Hopefully. We should be coming in a bit of a better angle. It's just whether I can... Uh... It's just whether I can land it, I suppose. Uh... Yeah. Come on. What? I take that as a... 
as a victory. I'm going to have to spin it around now. Hopefully I've got enough fuel and hopefully the map doesn't glitch out and then mess me around. Look at this. This is expert right now. Boom. Yeah? Oh, I unlocked it. Go on then. Just for pandering's sake, we're going to try and... Uh... Oh no, this is going to be even worse. Only three rings. That sounds alright. Doesn't seem too bad. It's going to have to be pure... Pure luck. I only see one ring. Does it fill me with the immense confidence? However, we shall see what happens, I suppose. Right, let's just worry about getting the, the first one. Goodness. Right, okay. That's interesting. And then I'm presuming I've got to land it as well. I need a bit more altitude. Ooh. I don't know which way I'm going. I'm going to take this way. I don't want to mess it up. I'm doing alright, actually. But yeah, this game seems like something that might be fun you guys then as I say do feel free to check out the link below probably the best thing you can do at this point is uh, I'd say the Kickstarter is pretty much done I wouldn't say the game's got much hope in terms of being funded unfortunately unless something major happens um, but in terms of like uh, the guy's got a load of social media you know social media posts for the game and things like that and um, you know just doing those little bits to help out if you do like the game is probably the best chance you've got of getting something like this made, I would have thought. Come on. Come on. Landing time. No. Uh. Oh. Mm, I should have blown up surely for that. Oh, God. Well, that was unfair. I felt like I landed it there, but I came in a little bit too hot. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm sorry that I suck, I suck bad, <laughs> but yeah, I had a go, and I got minus 300, 530%, but anyway, yeah, probably at some point I might get to do the hang glider, hang glider, what? Hang glider, there we go, and then hopefully the rocket. So if I do get onto the rocket, I will put a little video up of me crashing the rocket, presumably, many times. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.